So Uber Eats has to push some good orders every now and then. But what's the cost towards it? Well, according to one of my lovelies in Sherbrooke that got 60 centimeters of snow the night that he went out to do these deliveries, that's exactly the cost towards it. Now, I got some screenshots in hand to definitely show you lovelies, but in case you didn't know, my name is Ash and I am a gig worker here in Montreal, Quebec. And currently I work for Uber Eats, for DoorDash, for Skip the Dishes, and previously I used to work for Instacart. Now, Uber Eats is my main application, and I've never seen orders like this, but Sherbrooke is not that far away. It's less than an hour and a half away from where my, I'm at. And we got about five centimeters of snow the same day that this lovely went out and got 60 centimeters of snow. Now, the only time Uber is gonna push orders like this is if you are at great risk of danger, is what I've learned. Because 60 centimeters of snow, just so you know, in one night is not very common. Now, if you were to tell me that there's 30 centimeters of snow on the ground, I would turn around and say Uber is definitely going to push a lot. But 60, I mean, you can do the math. It's double the number, and that's a hell of a lot to be driving in. But he still did it. Uber was pushing on this night. I think it was March, March 23rd, actually. This was a triple stack order. No, it wasn't. Sorry, double stack. Double stacked order, and if you notice, the whole payout, the entire payout was from Uber. $60 for 40 minutes and 10 kilometers. You want another good one? This one, the total is supposed to be $35. It is a single order, 22 minutes for $30.18 before a tip, $35.50 afterwards, 8.5 kilometers. Here's another one. The original offer, total offer, $48 for a single stack. 28 minutes 9.8 kilometers and out of that uber paid 29 dollars we have another one another single stack total of 5209 coming in for 23 minutes 6.3 kilometers for a simple burger king order and uber paid 42 dollars worth of that order i'm wondering if well $10 tip, so it probably had to be a big Burger King order, but I was going to say, is the $42, does that even cover the, the amount that the actual order cost? And then we have something that is higher in tip. We have an original $48 order. Uber turned around and paid out $29 for 28 minutes and 9.8 kilometers. So this driver probably completed about five, six orders that evening, but how often do these happen? Well, how often do you get horrible weather in your location? Because if you do, that might be an incentive for you to go out and work for Uber, but always put your safety first. Now, I've done so many videos about like Uber paying horrible, horribly, and that's still a thing. But I gotta admit, this shopper goes out, or this driver goes out, I should say, makes over $200 in two and a half hours. That's not a bad gig, and it's nice that a company is actually paying out the money more than it's just coming in on tips but uber how far does a how, does the driver have to go to get an order like this to be paid on a regular basis of course we're not going to see anything like this on a regular basis but this one is a nice to see if any of you lovelies have had really high payouts like this go ahead and comment below and what i want to know is was it on good weather or bad weather or somewhere in between comment below. I'd love to know and I'll catch you lovelies in the next video.